Hello everybody, this is, once again, nothing but a bunch of pretentious theoretical bullshit. Um, it is uh, Sunday morning, and, and if I were a Christian, I would be in church, but I'm not. So, I'm not. Um, uh, this is a response to Golden Gun 85 and uh, uh, his five questions for atheists. The first of which is, how do I believe the earth was created? Well, um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't believe in anything. I don't like uh, I don't like using that word belief and I don't um, or at least I make it a point to try not to believe in things believing in something is like saying that you know without verification you're just going to accept that it's true uh, without bothering to validate it in any way and I I won't do that so um, I don't believe anything about how the earth was created or how the universe was created um, but uh, there seems to be a lot of evidence for the Big Bang Theory, of course. Um, we've talked about this already. Um, and, uh, and that seems to be the, the, leading, the leading theory. Um, and there's good reasons to suppose that that's true. Although there isn't conclusive proof. So, uh, to be honest with myself and, and you, uh, I don't know. Uh, next question. Do I believe that the world would be better just without religion or... Uh, would it be better without a belief in a deity altogether? And if so, how would that help people? Assuming that you're coming from an atheistic perspective, right? I mean, coming from my point of view, given the assumption that atheism is a correct worldview, it's an accurate reflection of reality, um, uh, and given that God does not actually exist, then, uh, yeah, I actually, I actually do believe that uh, the world would be better without belief in a deity. And the reason I say that, or the reason I say that that would help people is um, just very simply because it would be true. You know, it's, I, I, I say that because I believe that it's true. And I think it's healthier and better for somebody to believe something that's true uh, rather than to believe something that's false. Uh, unless you're talking about, you know, and I have, I have my own little things about things like Santa Claus and, and stuff like that, you know, for children and, and using metaphors to illustrate things when you're young and still getting a grasp on the internet. But, but a, you know, a fully grown adult um, believing, you know, that there's somebody watching them in the sky that's going to answer prayers and going to let them, you know, I mean, all these things, if, if uh, coming from the assumption that that's not true, that's not a healthy thing to believe in, um, <clears throat> given that it's false. So, I believe it would help people because I believe it would uh, just, I think everybody would have a better grasp on, on, on truth. And, you know, I think that's more important than comfort or, or uh, happiness or a quick, you know, explanation to something we might not understand. And I think that's why uh, God is, is appealing in a lot of cases. Why do I believe that atheists are persecuted? Um, well, I think that, um, you know, 95% of the world believes in one God or another, and most people are just raised without question. I mean, from day one, we're told that there's, that God exists, or that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Children in Christian families, that you know, for the most part, are not taught to question it, or the, the idea of God is not presented as a possibility, or an argument, or this is what we think is true. It's, you know, when you're a little kid, you know, and you're growing up in a Christian home or, you know, or any kind of theistic home, it's just fact. It just is true. And you trust that it is true. And, you know, granted, something like that carries on into adulthood. And we just, we just never question it. If you've grown up your entire life thinking, I should say, knowing that God exists, I mean, it's just not, um, it's not up for question, and then you run into somebody who doesn't believe in God. Like, not, not just doesn't believe in Jesus, but doesn't believe in God at all. Um, and, you know, you've got the Bible telling you that, you know, all the faithless are evil, and none of them do good. You know, that's, that's in the Bible. You know, I mean, if you're constantly told these things, and then you run into somebody, you, I think most people who don't know any better um, uh, associate atheism with immorality. Or devil worship. I mean, if, if you've been taught that you get your morals from the Bible, if you've been taught that that's where morality comes from, is from God, well, you meet somebody who doesn't believe in God, you just assume that they're immoral, or, or you know, that they have no ethics, or that they're evil, or that they worship Satan. I think, um, I think that's why atheists are, are uh, persecuted, mostly because it's a misunderstanding of, of what atheism actually is, and and how it works, and um, I think, you know, that's 
I think that's the answer. Where do I get my, my base moral codes from? Um, uh, this is a tricky question. I've, a I've, I've answered this question uh, in, in many other of my posts, um, uh, and so you should be able to, to uh, find the answer. You know, I, I pretty much say you know, things like common sense and reasoning and a sort of you know, uh, trial and error process of learning how our actions come back around to us and a sort of consciousness of cause and effect and a societal sort of what is the benefit for everyone and the mo you know, what does the best good. You know, so we, we're social animals and we have to live socially and we have to live together and work together amicably and so a morality sort of, it just even from an evolutionary perspective, uh, it, it's necessary to think in, an, in a sort of ethical manner in terms of coexisting with a community. Uh, but so to, to answer the question though of where do I get my moral principles, I kind of want to um, throw in a twist and switch it around and, and I think the question should be where do you get your moral principles and I think the answer is from the same place I get mine. And you're going, no, no, because I get my morals from the Bible. Um, and God, and I would say, no, you don't. Um, and the reason I say that is because uh, you cherry pick uh, which morals, to, which, which moral principles to take from the Bible, and which to leave in the Bible. If you truly got all of your ethical ideas and moral principles from the Bible, then you would be stoning your wife on your wedding night if you found out that she wasn't a virgin, you'd be owning slaves, you'd be beating your children every day because if you don't, you believe they'll be spoiled, you'd be instructing your wife never to speak in church, or you wouldn't allow women to be an educator, or you would make um, your wife only ask you questions in the privacy of your own home, uh, you would be killing homosexuals and doing all these other obvious, obvious atrocities, um, but you don't because you're faced with a sort of dissonance because your reasoning and your common sense and your experience with social interaction tells you that those principles in the Bible are wrong. And so you cherry pick because you have to. And you seek to justify being able to say, well, this is taken in the wrong context or this is, you know, in the wrong time. You have to understand, you know, what they meant. But, you know, but it's Old Testament and New Testament that these principles uh, exist that you're not following. Um, so, uh, you know, in addition to, anyway, I just wanted to say, I, I think you and I get our morality from the same place. I think we both use reasoning and common sense. And so I think when you think about why you believe slavery is wrong, even though Jesus supports slavery, and even though the Old Testament supports slavery, slavery, think about why you think that, why you know that. That's the same reason why I know that. That's where I get my principles from. Okay, finally, last question. Uh, you ask, since our laws are based upon Christian morals, do I believe it would be better not to have these laws? If so, how? If not, why? Uh, th this is a, a sticky question to answer because it's it's predicated upon a false premise. Uh, our laws are not based on Christian principles, not remotely. Some of our laws may be consistent with Christian principles, like you know, don't lie, don't steal, don't murder. But those same principles uh, can be found in almost every other uh, dominant religion in the world. Uh, some of which predate Christianity by thousands and thousands of years. So, um, my question to you would be, what if you believe that, that our, our country is, is founded upon Christian morals, what would a country founded upon Jewish morals be, for example? Would there be anything different? If the answer is no, then our country isn't necessarily based upon Christian morals. It's, it's just based upon morals that all religions happen to... Uh, agree upon, and that lends towards that sort of common sense in terms of morality thing that I was talking about. In fact, if you look specifically at certain uh, Christian morals and principles, you'd find that they blatantly contradict laws and um, rights that we have in this country. Like, we wouldn't have the First Amendment if our country were founded on Christian principles, because it, it contradicts the First and Fourth Commandments. Uh, we wouldn't have laws against child abuse. Um, you know, the Bible, New Testament, and Old Testament both recommend that you uh, beat your children every day, and thank God we have, uh, no pun intended, we have uh, laws uh, against that. So, um, I think it's a good thing that our country is not based on Christian principles. Um, but to answer your question, e even if they were, uh, do I believe it would be better not to have laws just because uh, those laws are consistent with Christian beliefs? Of course not. That's that's ridiculous. Like, I don't understand why anybody would. It's, that's like saying Christians eat red meat since you're an atheist and don't believe what Christians do. Do you not believe in eating red meat? Um, 
So I guess I suppose I don't understand the reasoning behind it. Maybe you can explain it better to me, or maybe there's something I'm not getting. But anyway, those are uh, those are my answers, and uh, I hope they are uh, to your satisfaction. Um, let me know what you think. All right, man.